Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you Lighthouse. It's an open source extension for Visual Studio that lets you highlight code in a, a new way. So here you can see I have a, you know, a little bit of code and the word files is highlighted with a little background uh, blur. So that's the way Lighthouse works. So you can select any term and create a highlight for it and it does not affect the foreground coloration. So whatever you have set up in Visual Studio or via other uh, extensions like uh, ReSharper or whatever, those um, color coding mechanisms are not affected. Uh, this just works in sync with them. So I'm going to uh, show you how, uh, how this works. I'll, I'll just create a new uh, highlight. So I'm just going to select HTML minifier up here and right click and select create highlight. So this dialog comes up and it's automatically assigned a random color to this highlight. You can go in and change from one of the presets or make one of your own. Uh, this is fine for now. There's a medium blur applied. You can have different kinds of blurring. Uh, in this case, I'm not gonna uh, have any blur at all. Let's just create this. So you can see that is highlighted. And if I were to create war, uh, H2 is equal to HTML minifier, that will get highlighted too. So this helps it uh, uh, helps makes it easy to identify individual things when you're scrolling quickly or you're working through uh, very dense pieces of code. The other way you can use this is you can create um, a full line uh, highlights. And there are a few built in. So I'm just gonna go in and create a new comment and with this prefix, I can add a number and it'll pick from one of the several presets built in. So I'll go for six or five or four or three. And this can act as a sort of um, a horizontal rule. You can separate pieces of code, quickly identify where individual sections start. Um, normally you would also wanna uh, do that with regions. And so if you're using regions, um, you can create your own highlight rule like uh, for a full line and uh, I'll do that right now. So I'll go region my stuff and close the region. So if I pick uh, this preprocessor, right click, create highlight and that's fine. I'm going to click OK. So that shows up here at the region, but I want it to be full line. So you can go control uh, num plus and that's a shortcut you can also just right click and do create highlight and so this one's already created so it shows up here as an existing uh, highlight rule that you can change so I'm gonna add a lot of blur and I'm gonna make it full line and so now you can see this is a full line and it makes it easy to see when you scroll past something and also you can have multiple rules on the same line. There's no restriction to that. So let's say I want to take my stuff and I want to create a new highlight. So let's go and you have my stuff. Now I'll select it again, press control num plus and uh, let's see, I want to make it full line. I want to add just a tiny bit of blur. And there you have it. You have two overlapping highlights. Now, Sometimes you don't want it to be that strong or in your face. So another option is instead of having it be a block, you can go and select underline only. So with this option, it'll be now rendered as an, a long underline. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a full line. You can do it with just words as well. So with this, you can create different combinations. You can also go in and temporarily deactivate a rule if you want. And you can go back and activate it again. Sometimes you may want to have specific terms only for a solution um, or you want to share your highlights with the rest of the team. So a great way to do that is when you create a highlight, you can select solution only. And so when you select this, this specific rule will go into a file in the root of your solution folder and you can put it in source control and share it with the rest of the team. Now, eventually you will end up with lots of different highlights, uh, uh, highlight rules. And to help you manage that, there is a window called the Lighthouse Keeper. So you can go view menu, other windows, Lighthouse Keeper. 
and here you can see all the rules that are stored on this machine so here are all the rules that I created for this file and they would of course work across all solutions and now I want to get rid of all of these so I can just select them like a data grid right click delete and they're gone so I can go save and apply and it wants to reopen the windows uh, so that you can go back open they're gone and so you can create uh, mass modifications to all your highlight rules using the lighthouse keeper and you can also access it from the quick launch just go keeper shows up and you can uh, you know create lots of different rules uh, import them from elsewhere copy paste between things you can also uh, choose the central or the global options so the way the corner style is or blurring whether you want to follow selective blurring which is if something is specified here or you just want to blur everything and then you can choose how much or you don't want blurring at all so you can disable it completely there are plenty of options to give you a lot of flexibility to fit the way you work lighthouse will work in all different kinds of visual studio themes whether you're working in light or dark or blue or something custom uh, it will also work across all languages so if uh, it's a language supported by Visual Studio itself. You can just go in and start highlighting.